everybody. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday, everyone. We're live on TikTok. We've got um, Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. How's everybody doing today? How's it going, guys? Thank you for joining us. It is Good Friday today, so who knows who's going to be showing up today. A lot of people have the day off. We're happy for those who are already with us. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Um, we've got our locked and loaded show for you guys today. We wanted to let you know if you can, if you couldn't hear us, we are having a little bit of audio difficulties today. So if you're getting some scratching on the mics, we had this a bit last week. We're barbecue pops is behind the scenes trying to figure it out. Yeah, we're pretty shrill naturally, but we'll let you guys know if it's extra shrill today. It ain't our fault, okay? It's the mic's fault. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully that's not an issue. But if there, if you can hear any sort of issue, please let us know, like you guys always do. We, we would appreciate, appreciate you it. guys. We got James Beard in the house, Barbecue Mama, Barbecue Bob, which can I say, <laughs> Barbecue Bob changed his name last week like that. Did he? Okay, so remember I stumbled and I said Barbecue Bob. Yeah. And we were all like, ooh, Barbecue Bob's actually a good name. Instantly, he changed it and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some credit, okay? That was, that was all me. <laughs> Barbecue Bob is amazing. Okay, so Will Plunk saying we sound good. Um, I saw someone else said we sound good. Okay, great. Okay, you guys, guys can hear us. Stay Fantastic. With us. It could be a bumpy ride. We're glad that you guys are here for it though, okay? We've got Bonnie over here. We've got Rod. We've got, of course, Eva Llama, man in the chat over on TikTok. Hi, Eva Llama. We have Mark, Cluck and Squeal. Look what we got in the house today. Hey, oh, Mark. Yeah, we're talking about this later today mark Happy and i were having Friday, mark. mark and i were having like a little moment on instagram secret messages this morning because i told him matt I, you know are you telling secrets already bud all right. save it for after dark okay man. i was gonna tell secret but first of all bat 13 way to go first on the grill Congrats, he got it again bat 13 i'm gonna say i say this every single week the guy outdoes himself every week okay he's down to he gets it within 20 seconds so bat 13 you're back, baby. You're back this week. HT got it last week, but he wasn't letting HT hold the title for long, let me tell you. I'm curious as to what he's doing. I would love to know the strategy, and I know like, others would as well, because there, it's a battle over there for it. How is he getting it? He, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but all the props go to Bat13. Congrats, buddy. Tom's Food Factory is laughing at Instagram secret messages. You guys <laughs> know like, what I mean. something new? I don't know what else that's called. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. How's it going? Hi, Fritz Frank. We missed you. He wasn't here last week but he's back this week we got rick s saying happy easter girls guys we're so happy that you guys are here we're gonna be making a delicious feast with you guys today but we need to kick the show off the way that we kick it off fortunately and unfortunately every single friday <laughs> yeah ab absolutely it's time for the friday song and dance who's ready let's do this Friday, Friday, Friday. Yes, yes, it's Friday. Friday. Sorry if the mics sound bad during that part. I hope they're still kicking. That could yeah. have sent them over the top. Yeah, hopefully How's they're not. How's that not going to send anything over the top? I don't know if we said hi to Art Harris, but hi, Art Harris. How are hi, you? Hi, Art. <laughs> hi, and Hot Tommy's in the house in the house too. Hi, Hot Tommy. Hello, Wendy. Guys, you came to a fabulous episode. We say it every week, but we not once have lied to you guys. Yeah. We are making something spicy and something delectable. Okay? Oh, yeah. Anyone keeping the delectable count, you're at number one. Okay? Get drinking, everybody. People like to do <laughs> shots during that. Get drinking. It's, um, it's Good Friday, so we're making a spicy curry shrimp and rice. Maybe not the most traditional dish, but that's what we're making. Guys, if you love shrimp, this one's for you. I saw Charles over here, I think, asked about the microwave back, back there um, and how old it is. It's actually brand new. It looks old, but Hi, it's, it's, it's a brand new microwave. Great question. I know. It's one of those new ones that looks retro. Okay? Yeah, it's, I love that. We love our Elmira microwave. It's a, it's a great one. We have Fritz Frank over on, on Insta. Guys, are you ready to get rolling on this fantastic feast? Because a lot of people eat seafood on this Good Friday. Yes. So that's why we have chosen this today. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to hear in the chat who's here for some fit, um, for some shrimp. I'm here for some shrimp. Wendy's already saying it. I knew she was going to. Okay, so it looks like I'm chopping everything under the sun over here. You got that right, buddy. But you know what? You're not chopping. What? Do you see some fresh garlic over there? Or do you see some some of our favorite item here that we like to keep at the barbecue bunker? I don't know how this jar is still going, but... Well, I got another one locked and loaded in the fridge for you, buddy. So if you run out there, we got lots left for you. So Great. get going. Get Great. going. Hi, Jonathan. Um, I was... Uh, hi, Michelle. Hi, Kelly. How's everybody doing? Happy Good Friday. Guys, look at these shrimp. These are not messing around. <laughs> these are like great-sized shrimp over here. These ones are already cooked. 
So you'll see that they're already pink. They don't have that like gray appearance to them. And um, I will like to say that I, I chose these for any particular reason, but I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. They were on sale. So that's why I got them. Why not? Um, Kelly's saying he or she is doing good. Hi, Very Kelly. Good. Happy Friday. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna start to take off our shrimp shells that we have here, okay? We are taking those off because I don't know about you guys, the shrimp fans in the house, I know that obviously shrimp are like bones, okay? So bones and shrimp, or, and, um, or the shrimp shells, give flavor to whatever sauce they're in, right? Mm -hmm. However, I don't like the picking through that once I'm eating a shrimp dish that um, is eaten with a fork. I can't stand that. I don't like it either, so that's why I'm just, to me, this is worth taking that extra step. Um, it is an extra step, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't get, I think that's like a faux pas. If you go to a restaurant and you're like sitting there rooting through a dish trying to undo the shrimp out of the like, shells, I don't, yeah. Just like sucking along, which it's, it is fun to do that on your own time, but at a restaurant, I don't really feel like I want to do that. And like, do you get in there with your hands? Do you use your knife and fork to try to like pry it out? Yeah. I don't get it. I'm with you on that, buddy. Okay, look at this angle here. Is this this angle? Yeah, it is. Okay, Barbecue Pops, guys, we'll let you know. He's manning the show today without the temp. This is the temp's first day off. Um, so Barbecue Pops is back being the only one. And I'm going to say, I feel like he's a, he's a tad nervous for it today. He hasn't been the only one back there in a while, so <laughs> we're keeping him on his toes. Hi, Dave. We got Valentin in the house. He's saying, hey, M and K, hey, all. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Valentin. Valentin, I know that you like a good shrimp dish. I feel like you're going to love this one. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I started saying this morning, I was on um, Instagram and I was talking to Mark, the owner of Cluck and Squeal, because I had all the intentions. Maddie and I, before the show started, we were talking about what we were having for dinner tonight. And well, I had I, a, Yeah, and you said you're saving yes. it for the show. because Guys, that's one of the most hot topics that we like to discuss in the day. <laughs> I don't know what we're having for dinner. We, like, can't handle that. We, if I go well, the whole day without, without knowing he, what he's having for dinner, I feel it's wrong. I need to know what you're having for dinner. Yes, I, I ha always have to know what you're having for dinner. So <laughs> I this morning, I was like, because the show doesn't start until noon, I was like, I'm going to be organized here and I'm going to prep my dinner because sometimes by the end of a Friday, I get exhausted and I don't want to come home and have to start dinner from scratch from scratch love a good morning dinner prep so it's nice to just have at least something done i don't know if you guys do that but like i was emptying the dishwasher i was like i'm gonna throw a tray of taters in the oven hi kathy hi kathy how are you so i was like i've got a lot of time in here so i'm gonna just pe um scrub up some taters throw a little cluck and squeal on it i use the love himalayan Ooh, seasoned salt so I made a tray of um, wedges that were supposed to be for tonight's dinner. They were done. They came out of the oven. And then, of course, I just sat there and proceeded to eat half the tray. <laughs> of our, like they were already cooked? They were done. And I couldn't resist. I was about to put them away for later. And I couldn't resist. And I just could not stop eating them. So I was like, this is now there. becoming breakfast and not dinner. So I wrote Mark and told him and said, thank you. I hope you're happy because now my dinner's not done. <laughs> so thank you very much. Okay, to but <laughs> breakfast taters, that goes. It does. And they that were totally go. They were so good. You know what I put else I put on them? What? That I'm obsessed with that butter coconut oil. Ooh. Something about that combo. Oh my good heavens. Marisol, you're so sweet. She's saying we're looking beautiful today. Hi Marisol. She's also saying barbecue mama's looking beautiful because guys, barbecue mama is still here. We got barbecue pop still here. It's just not the temp here. So we're still, we still got a full house. Yes. We also have our good friend S. Will in the house and he's saying, who also saves the shrimp tails? tails for a shrimp stock yes s will absolutely phenomenal in s this will. case you can totally do that because we are pre we're, we're removing them before they hit the recipe you wouldn't want to be doing that you know when you're when you're eating shrimp and then you collect the the tails like off to the side ew and someone and sucked on them they've been in your mouth and you're like i'm gonna make a good stock later with these. like you don't <laughs> no. want to do that oh no no <laughs> Uh, let's see. Alistair is saying, question for you guys. Thoughts on using stainless steel cookware? Okay. Good question. Great very, question. Very good question. Very good question. As opposed to nonstick, Alistair, is that what you're referring to? Or cast iron? Ooh, you know what? Ca not, really nothing beats cast iron. I'm going to say, for me personally, and I don't, I didn't know if you wanted a fine mince on this, but this is what you're getting. Because I love I to do. I didn't at all. Well, I like to do a fine mince. Why? What's wrong with that? I wanted a nice um, julienne. Did you? Yeah. A julienne? Yeah. But you know what, guys? All right. 
Kiki's gonna do what Kiki's gonna do. I like a fun. I, I love like how she's asking and she's halfway through that pepper. She's like, I don't know what you want me to do. Well, you're gonna do what you're gonna do, buddy. Yeah, but because when, whenever I get like a curry, I feel like the big. The, I don't like giant chunks. I'm not. What, what is with these giant chunks of peppers and stuff? Realistically, actually, the girl's got a point. So I, I don't agree. like that. I like. I prefer things. Fine. I feel like texture makes all the difference, and I like finely minced. I, I better. agree, buddy. We got Marianne in the house. She's saying hi, Maddie and Kiki. Marianne, are you also watching on YouTube? Did I see there was a Marianne on YouTube? I did. Yes, you did. Hi. I did. Oh, okay, Barbecue Mama's got us. She's saying, yes, you did, girls. Yes, you did. Okay, so guys, we see this. was Marianne from Fritz Frank. You knew it was? I said I wondered if that's oh. who she was. <laughs> All right, so guys, we, we see this every week. We cannot go live with you on, let's see here, on um, TikTok because we are broadcasting on all these different platforms at the same time. So, unfortunately, we can't. Oh, we've got Dreaded Locksman. Hi, Dreaded Locksman. He's back. I think he has never missed an episode since he's been on. Yeah, he's like the president of TikTok. We're happy you're here again, buddy. Yeah. Do, guys, who in here has the day off today? Or I are think people everybody. watching for work? Because if you're watching for work, I think that's awesome. I think it doesn't everybody have the day off today? Who, who, um... Who works unless a you're like in a... Some people do. James Bearden is saying, I always eat the crunchy tails. Okay, James, you know what? I'm with you, buddy. Okay, because you know when I do eat the, sh the tails? When? Yes. Tempura. Yes. She knew it. She knew it. Because uh, I'm sorry, if there's a little bit of batter on there, you're telling me that's not delectable? That would be. It's just cr some crunch, exactly. a little bit of shrimp flavor. Um, some extra calcium. They're very <laughs> high in calcium. Why not? <laughs> and zero waste, people. That's exactly. the ultimate. Tom's Food Factory saying, I'm with Kiki. I don't like big chunks of veggies. You know what? I think people really overlook um, texture when it comes to like yes. preparation of totally. veg. Because you don't think it would make that much of a difference. But I that's one of my biggest pet peeves is if you order like a curry or a stir fry or something. I don't need giant chunks of peppers when I'm having a dish like that. Oh, yeah, someone's, someone's calling flirty murty. <laughs> Yeah, Flirty Murdy instantly rejected that. We're going live. If you don't know that we go live every single Friday at 12 p.m., you ain't got a right to call me right now. Okay? Maddie's like, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so is this a jalapeno or is this a what? Yes, okay, so guys, this is a jalapeno pepper. We are making this spicy, but what I would like to give you guys is a little tip that I like to use sometimes. If you like spicy, but you don't want it super spicy, what I do is put in half the seeds and remove half the seeds. And I notice that in when you're like when you're cooking like that, you still get the heat, but it's not gonna knock you out. Cause this batch in particular of jalapeno peppers are actually very spicy. Is it? Oh, oh yes. no. Yeah, so, so I shouldn't be rubbing be my eyes? No, we gotta be careful. Okay, Will Punk coming at us so sweet with a with a $20 super chat from Kit Kat. Thanks, Will Punk. Thank Thanks, you. Will he Punk. said That's... Kit Kat approves this recipe. That's very sweet of you, Will. Thank you so much. I think a lot of cats would. A lot of cats love the shrimp tails. Yes. Totally. We know Ricky does. We got Chef Plummy in the house. He's saying, dish needs a fork to eat, then no tails. No for tails, okay. Plummy, okay, that's what I like. Plummy, you've been drinking a little this, this morning? What, what's happening over there? I know it's Good Friday and <laughs> you're off I'm probably, but we're together <laughs> here. I know someone's kicking off the festivities early around here. Oh I think. My. <laughs> He's like, drink tails bad, drinking good. <laughs> Either that or Flirty Murdy's had a few drinks that can't okay. read the comments. What? I think he's trying to say, he's saying he's hammered. Yeah, okay. okay. He's joking. But <laughs> what I think he's trying to say is just go at these with a fork. But I I think this is just an easier eating experience. I don't, I know that the, the, the um, skins and the tails add flavor, but yes. I hate rooting through a dish. Yeah, me too. It's not, I don't me think, I, you know what? And on that note too. <laughs> Plummy's not a fan of Kiki right now. He's like, Kiki, we ain't friends anymore. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second, Plummy. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I would like to just prove this to HT for a second because he's saying that Kiki's doing all the work. You, as what, um, what else is new? Did I? Did Kiki do this? <gasps> Hi, CJ. Hi, CJ. Did Kiki do remove all these skins here, all the tails? Yeah. <laughs> She didn't. That okay. didn't really take long. Just because she's dicing her, dicing her life away over there. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love, um, like, a doing not just a mince, like mince and garlic, not a huge fan of, but I love doing a perfect square on a no, mince. Okay, tell me what you think the best veg does that. Carrots. Buddy, we are on the we line. We are 
lining today. today. Yes. today. <laughs> Nothing feels more satisfying than lining up a perfect carrot and just, and like, just giving being like, it. Mm, yeah. mm, I don't know why that's mm, so good. It it's does. Just, like, so satisfying. It totally. But look at this peppers. Pepper second. Okay, I'll pepper show second. you guys when I'm done, but look at that. Absolutely incredible. We why does that feel good? We have dog in the house. Dare dog, do you feel the same way as we do about the satisfying feeling? Mm of dicing vegetables. It's exhilarating. Okay, so Marisol's saying there is some static again. So guys, if you can hear that, sorry about that. We can't figure out what the problem is. We're trying to get to the root of it. As you know, when you have a live setup situation going on, Lord knows what the problem could be. Yes, but guys, if you stay during this static, we love you even more, okay? Because <laughs> last week I watched it back and it was quite annoying at the end and a lot of people hung in there with us. We appreciate which that, I, guys. Yeah, we totally appreciate you guys. Now. Um, CJ is saying that he hates mincing garlic, and that's why garlic is awesome. Uh, agree. CJ. If you even want to call that garlic, though. Absolutely agree. And yes, we are calling it that. All right. Okay, well. so guys, we can't make curry shrimp without the curry, okay? So as soon as you pop this, this bag open, it just smells absolutely incredible. Take a whiff of that. You can probably smell it for me. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, so what I like to do is just put a little bit over the shrimp. And then we're also going to put some in the pan once Kiki gets going. So actually, what I would prefer you to do, honey, is get the onions right. going. Get oh, the, the onions. onions. Yeah. Okay. All right, get I'm going to turn your heat on. Because, it, guys, the, I will tell you that this smells fragrant in the package. But if you actually start frying this, like frying up the actual curry, it it tastes like more fragrant. It's or it, it tastes stronger and it smells more fragrant. So girls, Eva Lama is saying, check the connections of cables. So yeah, Eva Lama, maybe. thank you very much. That's a very good tip. Um, I'm sure Barbecue Pops is doing everything he can over there. So yeah. just stay with us, guys. Sorry about we that, guys. We got Eric in the house. He's saying, anybody else having connection problems? Eric, we're on it, okay? Yeah, we're Thank trying you. to be on it. Okay, so now Plummy is saying something that I don't want to read out, and it's uh -oh. about garlic. And Plummy, you're wrong, buddy. You're wrong. We no, love you, but Plummy, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. I can only guess what it is, but you're absolutely right. It's about right. garlic, so you can just imagine what he's saying. Yeah. Okay, he's on your side. Okay, so guys, what I'd also like to add is, like Key like he, he mentioned, we're talking today about clock and squeal. Okay, so this is one of our favorite rubs that we love using. Um, we've talked about them before, and I would like to just point out that the color of the label talks to me. Okay? Me too. It's a pinky purple. I know it's going to talk to Hot Tommy too. That's his favorite color. Um, this one is... The savory spicy. Now, this is going to be a spicy dish, but this I don't find spicy. No, neither do I. If you find like black pepper spicy, if your spice level is that low, yes, maybe you'd be like, oh, it's slightly. Is but some, is there someone on the planet who thinks black pepper is spicy? Come on. Do we need to name names? I yeah, know a lot of people that think black pepper is spicy. Okay, so guys, we're just going to mix this up just like that. Just let this hang out for a little bit, okay? Kiki is going with our onion, we're going to get that going. And in the meantime, I'm going to start opening up our coconut milk. Because I don't know about you, but I have... You know how sometimes we talk about like pantry staples? Yes. I always have coconut milk on hand. So do I. When it goes Ooh. on sale, it's one of the ones I love loading up on, and it has a long shelf life. See, Tom's Food Factory, I know someone that hates black pepper because it's too spicy. Okay! I know so many people that say black pepper is spicy and it boggles my mind every time. I'm like, well, what is spicy about this? I guess it could be, especially if you, you sometimes... Wanna, you sometimes, wanna sometimes, put some oil I'm on here? What's, what's happening? <laughs> sometimes, I guess if it's like a coarse grind, it could be spicy possibly. Like, that's a good point, but... I don't think, I don't, I'm not rub, seeing it. This rub in particular, it ain't spicy. No. Okay, we got Uncle Steve in the house. Hi, Uncle Steve. Happy Friday. Hi, Uncle Steve. Okay, so, and of course, we have every single onion Flirty Murdy owns right now that I'm going, and without contact lenses, I'm the one who's doing the onions. Sorry, okay. buddy, I shouldn't be doing that. That's rude of me. But I'll take it. Okay, and I, I went in, guys, with um, some avocado oil because it doesn't add any flavor. Okay? I'm surprised you didn't want to do a nude with this. I like, like this. Like curry, Singapore rice noodles with the curry vibe. Yes. That's like one of my favorite. Wait, what that am I doing? It's delectable, but I'm not, I also love this on um, a, a basmati rice. Now we have S. Will saying, question, did Barbecue Pops get my throwback pick? I said of S. Kiki on a hot red tracker. A hot red tracker? Oh, tractor, tractor, sorry. I don't, I don't think I saw that. As well, if it came through Kiki, I'm going to say she didn't pass that on. No, I don't even think I saw it. S. Will, where did you send it? 
Okay, because I would, I would love to see that. That was probably, if it's a picture I'm thinking of, that was taken like over 10 years ago now, and that was probably at my last house with our very first tractor. If it's a picture, the only picture I can think of where I'm on a red tractor, am I wearing a plaid coat, S. Will? Because it's probably that picture there. There ain't a tractor. If, he, if it comes into contact with Key, if she sees a tractor, she's going to get on it. <laughs> okay, now Barbecue Pops is trying, is going to swap out my mic. My Barbecue Pops? Yeah. All right. Okay. And we'll so see if that does anything. This, this does something. Um, so he's going to do that. I'm just going to, as Barbecue Pops does that, I'm going to add some curry to our pan here to really get so this girls, going. Mm -hmm. Uncle Steve is saying he's driving on the highway so he can't really talk, but hope you all have a great show. I'll be listening. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Steve, Ooh. and drive safe. Uncle Steve, we love you. We appreciate you. We drive certainly safe. do. Please don't watch, but um, you can listen as you're driving. Um, and I'm just picturing the sweet sound of our voices going all through um, Uncle Steve's car right now. Did you guys know that? I didn't know this because I drive an old truck, but did you know that people like, okay, so my significant other was at work and they were talking about vehicles and people were making oh. fun of him for, oh, yeah. for driving a truck that has a CD player in it. Like, because apparently now cars don't have they CD players. I know. That they was don't. shocking to me. It is. I felt like an ancient dinosaur because to me, I'm like, what, what are you gonna play your CDs on? You get in the mood to listen to a CD, what are you gonna play it on? just doesn't happen anymore. I think that's ridiculous. I know. I, I at least Ooh. give people the option. Oh, my eyeballs. Okay, buddy, I'm going to take over no, for no, you. No, no, you don't, no, you don't need Are to. You just sure? give me a second. Yeah, just give me a minute here. I don't, girls. I don't, this, yes. yes. HT is saying he needs barbecue pops at his place on Sunday night. So I think <laughs> you guys need to package up barbecue pops and send them right on over. If only we could just snap our fingers and have um, barbecue pops go right from our show to HT's show. Which, if anyone hasn't tuned in, HT, a.k.a. Hot Tommy, aka the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and Griddle, he hosts a show every Sunday at 6 p.m. Okay, Eastern Time. Um, and so he's letting us know he wants the um, help of barbecue pops. Who couldn't need the help of barbecue pops? And All right. that 13 says the temp as well, Tommy. Aww. <laughs> All right, Jim is saying, um, so, uh, he said a comment in French. Now, I don't know French very well, but it looks like it's a nice comment based on the emojis. It's saying something about magnifique uh, mademoiselle. I think that's very nice. I, that sounds like it's good Cute. to me. That sounds like it would be something nice to say. Bonjour. <laughs> that's about where our French sto starts and stops. And Big MX Radio, why are they always yelling? Are you new here, bud? That's what we do. We're Italian. We speak loud. If you don't like it, have yourself a great weekend. <laughs> it's in our blood. Now, CJ saying that his kids have, um, CJ, did, you, did it say that you have, um, your kids have cassette players, barbecue? Mama, can you go up and see yes. cool. CJ in the, in, the, in the vehicle? Yes, he did. He says two of our kids' cars have cassette players in them. I'm going to need a year. <laughs> yeah, what? Because, my goodness, not, if they don't even have a CD player anymore, they have cassette players. Yeah. That's really taking it back. All yeah. right, guys, he looks like she's thankful that she's done the onion. Yeah, she is. I'm glad I'm going to get back to my peppers here. Yes, but and I, you're, you're, as usual, I, I will say I... I definitely have um, stopped doing a whole lot. Yeah, what Girls, else is new? I'm used Mar to it. Marisol says it's like me, Portuguese. We are not shouting. It's just the way we talk. Marisol, See? I know Marisol, you get us. That's thanks right. for having our back. Like the Europeans, it's just in our blood. We don't have a we don't have an indoor voice. It's just constant outdoor. Okay, so Big Chief is saying happy Easter to you and the family. Thank you very much, friend. Thanks, Big Chief. <laughs> happy Easter. Happy okay. Easter, everybody watching. Uh, guys, I'm going to get going, um, just because I don't want to be accused of not doing anything here. Um, I'm going to get going on some garnish, okay? So we are going to be garnishing this with Hi, onion Aaron. and cilantro. I, I know that instantly some people are going to be like, I don't, I ain't here for it. I don't like cilantro. Um, Wendy, we do. Wendy said we don't talk with our hands. I feel like we do a lot, but it's, it's less when we're cooking because our hands are busy. But normally we definitely do. No, Wendy's saying, uh, in response to Marisol, saying that she's Portuguese. So Wendy's saying, but don't you talk with your hands? That's not very oh. Italian, meaning Italians do talk with oh. their hands. Yes. All right, guys. So I just had to add something into the chat. I just added a little smiley just to get us caught up because it looked like we were not caught up in the chat on Insta. Um, but actually, before I do that, I'm just going to take some time to not do some more stuff around here. You want to go for a dip dive? And I, I do want to go for a dip dive. Do you, honey? 
I do. Eva Llama <laughs> saying on TikTok, sorry for the static there, working on it. Thanks for having our back, Eva Llama. We're trying to figure it out, guys. Barbecue Pops is behind the scene, working his magic, trying to figure it out. Guys, we're grateful you're still here. We love you guys so much. We got Becca in the house. She sang cilantro so good, as long as you never invent jar lantro. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Ooh, that is a thing. I've seen jar lantro, but that's <laughs> one I can't get behind. Jar lantro is not even a, uh, that's not even remotely close to the same um, herb. Okay, but jar lantro does have a good ring to it, Becca. Now, who does want to go for a dip dive? Um, Barbecue pops is busy, so if he can't pull up the graphic, we don't need it today, guys. Okay, it's more important we get the audio going. So CJ girls, is saying, yeah. CJ saying this is CJ's a loud talker. I'm like, why are you yelling at me? She says same thing. <laughs> Good yeah, one, we CJ. Lot, we got a lot in common, it sounds like, with Mrs. CJ. Yeah. All right, guys, Barbecue Pops is still making it happen. He pulled up the graphic for us. And HT, right. HT saying he'll drive up and help Barbecue Pops on the static. Aww, so there's a lot everyone, of helping going back and forth. Yeah, everyone just wants to help each other. See, HT happens to us, too. It's not just you. Um, tech issues happen to the best of us. Whenever you're going to go live, that's what the, that's the name of the game. Unfortunately. Agreed. It happened. All right, guys. Now, this Wait, question. You're telling me this mince is not. No, I'm into it. I think that's going to be incredible. I instantly took a bath. Thank you. Good. Colorful, fragrant, delectable. All right. I'm going to keep mince in my heart away over here. Kathy's laughing at that. Yep. Kathy, we're happy you're here, too. Guys, stand, stand by with us, please. We appreciate you guys. This question goes out to everyone watching and listening. It's from the Big Bowl of Questions. In your opinion, what goes best with chips? And this is Ron from Kitchener. Oh, oh good Kitchener. question. Okay, Ron from Kitchener has asked us, in your opinion, what goes best with chips? If this is the Ron I'm thinking of, I think he, I think we met this Ron at Suttering John, if I, if I remember correctly. He's from Kitchener, he's kind of local. I think- Ron, the, are you in the house, buddy? I think it's the Ron I'm thinking of. Okay, so Marisol's coming in with her answer. Love it. Absolutely love it. Ooh. She's saying salsa. Yes, Marisol. Okay, so my idea, though, I was picturing instantly the potato chip. Is this, uh, like, is that what you're taking? Or That's just, chip. like, chip in general? A chip's a chip. A chip or tortilla, potato, whatever you want. Okay, Marisol also said pico de gallo. Yes. Yes, that would be incredible, Ooh, too. Yes. Kind of um, on the same lines as salsa. Hey, Maddie. We got Maddie in the house. He's saying hey, onion Maddie. dip. Hey, Maddie. Yes. Oh my goodness, I love a good onion dip. You know what I'm on right now that is a tried and true throughout decades? Hell of a good. How, buddy, <laughs> are you joking? Why are you guessing everything I'm saying today? Is it a full moon? Okay, but specifically the French onion. That used to be my go-to. When I could eat stuff, that <laughs> was my go-to. Okay, I love that one, but I was, okay, so if we're, okay, Marisol also said guacamole. That is saying onion, onion dip, and Wendy is saying French onion dip and potato chips. Okay, guys, absolutely. You're nailing it. Eva Lama said spinach dip. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, but I was also reading this as like, as are you, like, is it saying like on the side of something, like a sandwich? Because I find I it, don't know. I find it very difficult to eat a sandwich without a potato chip. I feel like it just, it ain't the same. Yeah. Girls. Yep. Tom's Food Factory is saying chips, dip, chains, and whips. What movie is that from? I'm not sure. Tom, I like this. I wish I knew. Key and I constantly are saying, like, what movie is that from for lines? Chips, dips, chains, and whips. Guys, I don't know if you know what Tom's Food Factory is trying to say, <laughs> what movie it's from. I'd like to see if someone else can get it. Again, yeah, that's chips, dips, chains, and whips. What movie is that from? Hello, yeah, Chris Glennie. Hi, Chris Glennie. Wendy is saying hell of a good French onion dip is the number one. I think that yes, there's baby. not many people I know that don't like that dip. Agreed. That dip is like spectacular. It's like the texture. I that one's really. I, I'd say that one's up there. In like it's not too salty. It doesn't overpower a salty potato chip because yes. regular chips, like plain chips, are saltier. So oh, Brian, well, like, Brian is just interjecting for two seconds. He says he wants to say Happy Friday. And happy Easter to everybody. He's in between. He's popping in between uh, meetings for two minutes. So happy Easter, Brian. Brian, happy you're Easter, so Brian. sweet. Okay, that's dedication to the show. Coming in between meetings to say that to us and the barbecue fam. Brian, you're a sweetheart. Yeah, we hope you have a great Easter. That's in the house. <laughs> 
Have a great Easter, Bee Bone. <laughs> and Gary's like, Happy Easter, Bee Bone. <laughs> oh, we're going to miss Bee Bone and I know. Dark. Okay, so I'm saving the spicy pepper for last because I don't want to like fog us out. I don't want to fog us out, which can happen. Kathy's saying, I still love a PB and J with potato chips. Does that count? Absolutely, yes, Kathy. Kathy. Yes, I don't know why you would think that wouldn't go. That used to be like one of my favorite foods, which I can still have now. So I, not, I haven't done that in a while. No, that but you also good... used to love that you got me on that I will bow down and give you absolute credit for. What? Okay, let's see if we're totally in sync because um, give me a genre. What are you? No, talking it's the about? same thing. PB and J and Doritos. Yeah, that is We're like five for five. We, we are good yes. today. <laughs> We're saying yes. each other vibes. They're very powerful. <laughs> They're very, very powerful. <laughs> uh, let's see here. McLeod Blair is saying, Happy Easter, ladies. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, too. All right, guys. We are going with some um, green onion for the top. Like I mentioned, I love green onion as a garnish for pretty much almost anything. Because it's not just, when I say garnish, I mean, I'm not just adding something for looks here. Okay, do you agree with that, honey? It's yes. gonna taste good. Yeah. It can't just look good here, but green onions, they're cheap, they're still cheap in the grocery store. Green adds a nice pop of color to everything that you make, and it's just a light onion onioniness. So what can't benefit from that? I stopped um I started actually getting chives instead because the through the grocery service that I get every week, they have they have pre-washed chives in this little container. Ooh. So I find that to be easier when you're cooking. To just grab a handful of those and like I love to use scissors and just snip them on top of stuff. Okay, but can I can I say something about chives? Please do. Okay, I like them. They taste good, but again, you know how you were talking about texture earlier. Yeah. Texture is important. Green onions actually add texture too. So yes. it's like crunchiness, freshness, and um that oniony flavor which which you get from a um a chive chive but doesn't have that strong of a flavor though. no to me that's like chive is almost just ex just exclusively garnish it's like very minimal in flavor unless they're straight from the garden those sometimes yeah. are too much yes agree anything straight from the garden is a lot now we got darren in the house saying curry is such a good comfort food this looks delicious Darren, thank you for joining us and thank you for your sweet words. We are we try and make things look delicious around here, but this thing speaks for itself. Yeah. Hi Carrie, how are you? Hi Carrie. Carrie, are you working today? We were just talking about people that might have to work today and Carrie could be on that list um, being a police officer. There are obviously some people that are going to be working today, so hopefully you'll get some of the weekend off, Carrie. Girls, speaking yes. of people that don't have to work today, Bev our good friend Bev, this is her first live watching today because she's home. She's not working. Hi, Bev. Hi, Bev. Oh, you're Bev? Yep. Oh, hi, Bev. That's my Bev. <laughs> it's where we get some Gam Gams Bev. Aw, Gam Gams Bev. That's a good name. That's a good title. That's a very good title. Now, Marisol is saying Weird Science is a classic. So, guys, is that the line that um, Tom was talking about? Oh. Because Weird Science is when I will. Um, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I have never actually seen that front to back. I've seen it. We need to I, add that to our list. Yeah, I've seen it, but it hasn't been a while. Is Weird Science that one with um, um, what's the what's that hot girl's name that's in it? Like Kelly something? I think it's Kelly. Ke I want to say Kelly Rock or something. No, Kelly McGillis, I think no, is. Oh, Kelly LeBrock. LeBrock. Yeah. How do you know that? Okay, because she was a she was like the hot gal at the time. Okay, barbecue pops for the win, barbecue mama, yeah. zero. Sorry. Zero. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. But you tried, barbecue mama. I did. That's all that counts, okay? I did. All right, so I'm at the jalapeno, and hopefully if it's as spicy as Flirty Murray says, I'm taking out all the seeds. No, not all. I want, I want half in there. We want still some heat to this. Yeah, but... Barbecue pops can't handle too much heat with his with his stomach hurt. All right, well these ones are really hot, so okay, I'm taking let's, out let's the seeds. go ahead. And the ribs. That's also if you um another little pointer here. If don't just take out the seeds. If you have a really hot pepper, Ooh. you need to take out the white part too because that's where a lot of heat is as well. Agreed. Tom is saying it is. Kelly LeBrock was talking to the boys parents about a party okay so honey i think we gotta add that one to our list all right people say that one's a classic hi robbie bobby so we <laughs> hi robbie <laughs> that's bobby <a> funny name. <laughs> so i'm i definitely want to add that to the list because that's one that i want to see 
Robbie Bobby reminds me of um Bob Cobb. Julia Gulia? No, Bob Cobb. You remember on Seinfeld? Yeah. The maestro, his name is Bob Cobb. Okay, but that also is totally Julia Gulia. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Robbie is saying, what's on the menu today? We're making a shrimp curry because it's Good Friday. And um, and also just because it's delicious. Because why, why, why else? Like, why C not? Exactly. CJ saying that movie also has a young Robert Downey Jr. Yes. Jr. in it. Um, okay, I didn't I didn't know that either. But young Robert Downey Jr. Hello. I don't find him attractive. We just saw um yesterday. We he and I um based on a recommendation from um our good friend Hot Tommy. He recommended us to watch um a movie that we have <coughs> that we're gonna be coming out with in the next couple weeks for um our show Film Feast <laughs> with a young Richard Gere. If anyone can guess that movie. What that a hottie. He would recommend. He was a hottie then. He still is. Why are you bad no, he is, Richard he Gere? No, he is too, but I didn't, I, I actually didn't know Richard Gere without his white hair. Okay, so Robbie Bobby saying change my name to Rob Cobb then. <laughs> and that works too, Robbie Bobby. I like no, it. I like that too. Okay, so I'm ar I'm already getting some um, heat off of this jalapeno here. So this one is pretty spicy. So I'm, I love the couple seeds, but I'm glad that we're taking the majority of it out. Cause Mark is joining us. He's saying, if you're not first, you're last, Bobby Cobby. <laughs> <laughs> love it, Mark. We got another fan in the house. Oh, man. All right, guys. So we have our cilantro ready to roll here and our green onions. We're going heavy on the gorgeous green garnish. Let's see if this is... Yeah, that is smelling spicy already. It is. See, I'm these ones get, are really, really hot. Okay, I'm gonna get some of your garlic in here and try to avert my eyes of how because of how terrible it is. Be careful. Yes, CJ. CJ got it. Yeah, CJ and Wendy got it. Guys, good guess. Yes, it was Officer and Gentleman. Who's seen that movie? Okay, so now I'm gonna get moving on our on our ginger. That's and old. It that looks old. old. Yeah, it's it old and gnarly. It's on its last. It's on. It's on its last legs, but I think it's perfect to use in a curry. I'm gonna give this a stir for you, honey, and I'm actually gonna add some more um, curry. Okay. I don't normally peel garlic. If you have like fresh garlic or young garlic or um, <laughs> ginger, sorry, you don't need to peel it. I don't know why everybody Agreed. is peeling it. Kathy saying, "I'll agree to disagree on Richard Gear." Okay, so Kathy ain't a Richard Gear fan. He's all right, Kathy. I kind of same boat with that. Kathy like, ain't feeling him. He, I, to be honest, watching his stuff, I don't really get why he got that popular. Like, I'm like, I don't know how, I think that he, so are you saying that was a time and a place? What do you mean? Like, it was like, at the time, he was cool for the time, but if he was like, today, you don't think it would happen. Yeah, but some women really think he's like, super fine, and I'm like, I can In that movie, million... I think he was. Why? Yeah, um, hello, the white uni. The yeah, white okay, uniform. but that's the uniform, that's not him. Uh, yeah, but him in it. Tight little bod on him. Okay, Tom Sweet Patrick saying, I saw this morning that Louis Gossett um, Jr. died. He played Sergeant Foley. Really? Yeah, Wendy just finished uh, he saying died that today? he died today, apparently. Oh, I never no. heard that till now when Wendy uh, mentioned it. That's crazy. That was going to be my favorite sad. character from the movie. Yeah. 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 He was one of my favorite characters, <sighs> too. Oh, my. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil that movie, but. It is old. It's from where it's going back to 1982, but at the end. Oh, I opened he like, so and he's like, you're the only reason why I got through this. I was like, oh. I literally, I don't know what's wrong. I was like emotional during that part. So me too. And he, oh, oh, that's so sad. I How can't old believe he that. He, he had a good run, probably. I'm just guessing he's old. Probably, like, but still, it's it's still very sad when anyone. This when is anyone, old. That, yeah, this just is get old. in there. Get in. Oh, I thought you were going to mince it. That was for the lime. Well, I'm going to do both. James Bearden just said he was 87 years old. That's pretty no, good. No, that is really good. Thanks, That's a James, very good for coming run. in with that tip. Uh, I, always with that say, info. Like, I always say if you make it to 80, you really, what can you complain about? That's Agreed. a good, that's a pretty good run. All right, guys, I'm going in with our coconut milk. <laughs> you don't want to um, add the, you don't want to add the ginger. Girls, HT says, anyone want to recreate that ending? <laughs> Um, HT asked us that earlier this week, and he already knows our answer to that. Okay, HT, if you can lift us. HT, save it for the sensual couch, bud. Okay. Um, yeah, honey, get that in, and then we're gonna I'm pour trying. that. We're gonna pour that in. Okay, that's that's all your pipes, buddy. Because that ginger is old. Yeah. And you're okay. running running it through that very thin um grate. So I'm impressed. Well, I have with to rinse this off because that got really gnarly. That was super fibrous. Yeah. But that's why I also like just getting a, a large nub of ginger and keeping that in the fridge because it stays for so long. You know what I do? 
See, even, oh my goodness, even though that is old, smelling incredible. You want to know something even better than that? Give it to me. And then so, I have an interesting little um, addition here that I kept secret from you. Okay. So I want to tell you, and it's very unexpected. All right, so last summer. Okay, I'm adding this. All right. So last summer, I grew ginger in the in the garden. And it's one of those things that, like, if you grow certain things in the garden, you can store them. And they last a long time. Ginger is not one of them. It spoils very quickly. Like when you grow it when, from fresh. When you grow it you, and you pull it out of the ground. Because this one, I'm not going to lie, it's probably a month. Well, they also spray it with stuff to prevent it from going oh, that's back lovely. That's lovely to find that yeah. out. But so I grew it, and then I had so much of it, and I couldn't use it up quick enough um, before it was going to spoil. So what I did was wash it all up really good. Cut it into reasonable size nubs, like maybe one inch little pieces. Yeah. Toss it into a freezer bag. Then Genius. whenever you need it, I'm still using it. So then whenever you need it, you just, you, it makes great, you create like ginger dust. Almost. Yes. Okay. I love that. And it, I love and that. It's not as fibrous when you freeze it because it just goes right through. So I love doing that. Now, even when I have like, if I buy a ginger or I get it in my grocery order and it's too much and I don't, don't plan on using it, I'll just do the same thing. Freeze it. Then you always have it, because sometimes when you buy a big thing of ginger, it's too much. Okay, um, Becca is saying good to know. Thank you, Kiki. Great tip, guys, guys. I'll give you one more. That reminds me, and your tip reminds me of a tip that I do sometimes, going on the frozen thing. Mm -hmm. If you are a fan of hot, spicy food, what I like to do is buy my scotch bonnets. They always come a lot. You know, like you get a, a little package of them, and it's a lot. Yes. I will freeze them sometimes, and if I want a little bit of a, um, well, a lot of a, of a spicy kick to it, I will grate the raw frozen um, habanero or scotch bonnet over whatever I'm making. And let me tell you, that ain't, if you don't do that if you don't like spicy food. No. And, and that grates well too. Yes, and it grates incredibly. Yes. Well. Girls, um, both Wendy and Matt are saying dehydrated works good too Ooh, in good the Ninja. Tip. Yeah. Dehydrated ginger. Mm -hmm. Ooh, delicious, guys. Okay, honey, I, 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 you know, it sometimes pains me to give you credit on things that um were not my idea, even though this is my recipe. The the mints on the pepper, yes. looking incredible. Thank you. You would think I was a veggie saurus. Yep, she, she is. <laughs> She's a she is a veggie saurus. Leave it to me to know how to how to treat the veg, guys. Okay, now what I also oh, would yeah. like to do, I'm going to put get really half of... Okay, guys, this give her her stick. moment in the sun with her pipes, okay? No, no she's just, Yes, no. she wants it. Gave it to her. She doesn't. This is just a very stiff line. Okay, so I just added some of the green onion, and I'm reserving some to put on the top because sometimes I like the texture of half-cooked, half fresh. Do you not agree with that? A hundred percent. Okay, so half are in there. All right. Um, and we're almost ready to go with our shrimp in there, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a... Is that vanilla? vanilla? No, it does look like vanilla. Okay. You know what? This episode's like sponsored by coconut. Wait till you see Cheers to the Weekend. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, check it out. You can see here that this is coconut extract. It says imitation, um, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's coconut extract. It's not vanilla. What I like to do when I'm doing things oh. that have coconut milk, it's not coconutty enough. Coconutty enough for me. Okay, so I will add a little bit of this in there, and it's literally, it gives it more of like a taste from the island sensation. Ooh. I will warn you, don't go too much. Don't you don't want too this much to, this. to taste like a macaroon. No. <laughs> Ooh, curry macaroon. No. I would try that. No. Okay, so just, just a touch, just a really, really touch, okay? And it takes it to the next level. All right. Again, another thing I like, just keep it on hand. Okay, honey, we see you. We see you. She's no, I, working no, on it. I, guys, it's a lot of limes. A lot, of, lot, of, here. lot of just put, keep flexing her pipes, okay? Okay, that was a lot of limes. <laughs> She's La out of breath. Last but not least, we're going to add in a little stock cube, and i got to get cleaned up because I'm an absolute disaster. Yes. Here. Okay, yeah, we're, we just put a stock cube in there. Um, guys, we're going with our meatless vibe today, so that was a vegetable stock cube. Um, and that's just going to give it some more flavor, some more tastiness to it. And because we didn't even add any salt to this yet, instead of adding salt, we're going to go back in with the Cluck and Squeal sa Savory Spicy Barbecue Rub. Because a lot of people, when they, see, when they hear barbecue rub, they're just like, oh, you can put that on a chicken breast. You can put that on a steak. Yeah. You guys know we put it in everything. It's just the seasoned salt that's going to give everything more flavor. So why not? Well, hence my... um. 
wedges story from this morning. I was making it on potato wedges. Yes. They were too good. They're not going to make it till dinner. That should come with a warning. Okay. That's honestly what happened. Okay. All right. So we're just going to stir this in. And honey, do you want, are you going on to church for the weekend? I, it feels like it's me running the show here. I'm mixing, I'm mingling, I'm bebopping and scatting all over the place. Did you just learn something new about the coconut, the imitation coconut extract? Buddy? I did. Wait till you see what we're making, but it looks I like we're this. Okay. Well, before you do that, I just want to dump in our shrimp. Okay. They're we already, can, they're already cooked. take a while. Seriously, we can, we'll take a second, so just wait. Okay, because these are already cooked. We don't want these becoming overcooked. All right, it's time for Cheers to the Weekend, everybody. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi, Marty. How many people in Scotland? Cool. Awesome. What time is it in Scotland? We are obsessed with the time zones. I don't know why we're obsessed with knowing what time it is at different parts <laughs> of the world. We should get one of those clocks. You know how I'm like... Those clocks yes. that show all the time zones? Yes, I would love that. Okay. Why do we not have that? We're obsessed with that. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, I don't know if this is very Easter weekend, Ooh. but we're going to make Barbecue Mama a um, Vietnamese coffee. But, oh my goodness But gracious, not a yes. traditional Vietnamese coffee. So let me go fill this up. Maddie, I thought you would think this thing is super cool. This is Maddie written all over it. Totally. I feel like Maddie owns a little red espresso maker somewhere in that marvelous kitchen of his. Look at how cute this is. We Girls. got Land Shark in yes. the house saying, oh. What's up, Flirty Murdy? <laughs> Hello, Land Shark. <laughs> So Rick S. says, looking so yummy, and the curry looks delicious, too. I'll have two orders to go, please. <laughs> oh, my, Rick S., you are a sweetheart. You are so cute. Thank you for saying that. And You're... H.T. is saying, hit those thumbs up buttons again. Thanks, H.T. Try to die down that blush a little bit, a little bit of a blushy blush from Rick S. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is get our little coffee pot uh, on here. Okay, take a, take a whiff, buddy. The coconut extract. Oh, I'm whiffing. I'm whiffing. That smells that... phenomenal. That Guys, smells absolutely phenomenal. I'm sorry. Go get yourself some coconut extract. Yeah. You need it. I'm, I'm going to remember. Ooh, this smells good. You I'm going to remember make... that tip. So we're going to make this decaf. Ooh. Because Barbecue Mama does not like to stay up late. And she's very sensitive to caffeine. So we're gonna Why make... are you acting like you do? I'm, I'm trying think... to be cool. I think that's You're trying to be cool. He's like, I love staying up till 8.45 p.m. <laughs> That's pushing it. Not even. Okay, so all we're going to do, I have a tendency of like overfilling these things. Kathy said she's guessing 546 in Scotland. Is that correct? Did we get a oh. time on the on the Scotland time? Let us know again. They said, but I for, I missed it. Kathy, if you get that right, I'm impressed. Check mark to Kathy. Okay, so we've got our Please little... get that away. You have a tendency of spilling. <laughs> yes, I don't I trust do. you. I don't trust you near this. Okay, so we've got our little coffee in this little pot. All we're going to do is drop it down in the bottom, and then we're going to put the lid on top. What is this thing called? This thing has a funny name, and I always I call it, it an espresso maker, but it is not. It's also um, known as a mocha pot. Oh, and our it? girl Marisol has said that she uses one because okay. she knows that we love them. How cute. That one is just extra stylish because it's red. Sean is shouting, what are you making? That's what it looks like because it's in all capitals. Hi, Sean. If we were talking, if we were, if our text, if our voices were in um, text, they would be all caps as well. We're making a shrimp <laughs> curry, Sean, and now we're going to make a Vietnamese coffee. Marty's saying it's 4.58 p.m. Wow. Okay, close, Kathy. You were almost, you were pretty close on that. Okay. I was not even anywhere near that. We're going to get this fired up. <laughs> And because watch this it. little guy, I'm just going to move this here. Because this little guy is tiny, Oops. hopefully that's not going to take too long to get going here. Sean's laughing. Well, did that not look like sh shouting, Sean? It did. It looked like, like a, is that not how we would speak if our voices were in text? Sometimes I'll send an email and it's in a caps by accident. I'm like, well, that looked rude. <laughs> it looks aggressive. But that certainly did look like it had an, an edge to it. Okay, Maddie saying 548. I'm guessing same as when I lived in England. Maddie, you lived in England? Cool. Awesome. Okay, so maybe depending on, because Kathy guessed that time as well, so maybe depending on the area of Scotland. Okay, so. Okay, this is this is going. This I is like really that little red uh, contraption there. That might have to make its way oh, no. into my purse. Oh, no. You can have it, Barbecue Mom. <laughs> I never use it. Really? It's for one person. Excuse me, I've asked you if I could have that before. I love you it. said no. Mine. It's <laughs> just for one person. Isn't it cute? It is but cute. But I never use it. I, I'm a drip coffee kind of girl. I can't wait for this nonsense in the morning. It I, takes I can't. 10 minutes, but <laughs> pump the brakes and relax a bit, okay? Okay, so we got some coffee grounds in here. Okay, so. Traditionally, Vietnamese coffee is made with condensed milk, but we're going with a sweetened coconut condensed milk. I don't know why we went with the coconut thing here Do we want to add some coconut extract? Is it supposed to taste like coconut? 
I've got you. Okay. This isn't where the coconut ends. Do you want ends. me to have you? Because we have it on hand. No. Stand. Just listen. This is not where the coconut ends. So we're going to put in some of this. We're going to see how much. Now this can opener is really lame. I gotta get Wait, a I have one. no here. I have one too. No. Well, last week, it. last week we both didn't bring up a can opener, and now we have this. Yours is better than mine, though. This one's phenomenal. This and you know why? Up. I never put it in the dishwasher. I hand wash. I hand wash this one too, but it's never been good. Um, Dan, open? our good buddy Dan Gordon's joining us, and he is confirming you guys will be screen texting for life. And that guy goes back. So high school days, he knows this is just our voices. Okay? That's just how it is. Yeah. No, so it clarify. ain't changing anytime soon. Thank you, Dan Gordon. Okay, so look at the texture on this stuff. It's like sweetened condensed milk, but it's made of coconut. Am I able to take a little taste of that before it goes in? Yeah. With just with your hand? Yeah. Okay, she wants to get in oh, there. oh, it's like caramel. Yeah. Ooh. Can I try some? Okay, it tastes like caramel. Oh, oh it doesn't no. taste like coconut at all. Why does it, mm. if, if that, I, that oh. tastes like Dolce oh, no. de Leche to me. Oh no, Is that good, good for you? Well, it's made Can of coconut. Can you spoon that? <laughs> you probably shouldn't spoon it. But. Guys, okay, why is this a coconut theme? Wait, I'm not, that's not even over. Okay, so we're going to put some in there. We're gonna, I'm going to see. I don't know if that's too much. We're going to wait and see. Vietnamese coffee is always <laughs> that looks like, like a lot. Barbecue Mama is probably like, okay, it's going to be really, really sweet. Very okay, sweet. Okay, so. Wait, so we've got our sweetened condensed milk in there. Now, look at this stuff. I am obsessed with this. Ooh. This is coconut butter. So if you're thinking that it's like, if you're, a lot of people are familiar with coconut oil and using coconut oil and the benefits of using coconut oil. But this is coconut butter. All it is is coconuts ground down, mushed up the flesh, the everything into a butter. So okay. if you want to try something delicious, I put this in my matcha every day now. It is so Thanks good. Thanks for telling me. Smell it. Okay, they both it's smell. It's called coconut mana because mana means heaven. Ooh, cool. So it's, it's supposed to, can we, you want to try this? Yes, I do. Guys, yeah. I am going to go in with our shrimp. Remember, these are fully cooked, so we're just basically heating these up. All right. Okay, and I have to on. say. It's going to take a second. I, I have to say the um, ratio, the sauce to um, shrimp ratio looking mighty fine it does so, it looks perfect so wendy's asking so like a ghee so it's not like ghee there good question a, wendy that's good what question I wendy so this is not like there this brand does make another one that is butter flavor and that one's like a ghee mm -hmm. and i use that one a lot because it, it tastes a lot like butter but this one has very strong coconut flavor and you can put it in coffee like you don't need that much of it i took some out for you to try Okay, I don't want to wreck don't the... Don't put your mouth on it, Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to... Oh, it's like flaky a little bit. Well, it's like a, if you heat it up, it's more of like a butter, but it's like so strong of coconut. I just put a little bit in my matcha every day, and it's so good. It what makes, is that reminding me of? It makes everything super, super creamy, and... Can you put... Can you throw some of that in here, honey? Hey, what's this? Someone put ads <laughs> on us on TikTok. I'm going to guess that's Evil Llama. <laughs> And I'm going to guess, we su we suit a stash and a cowboy hat. Yes, we can put can some in there. Can we throw some in there? Yes. Let's just add to the coconut vibe in here, okay? Well, Guys, this is, yeah, buddy. It's, it looks like um crumbly, and it tastes like kind of like a coconut, like there's like a sweetness to it. Yes. A natural sweetness. That's the thing. There is no sweetener added to this um coconut butter, but it does have a natural sweetness to it. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend you do try coconut butter. It's not, it's such a weird ingredient. If you're, if you've never had it before. Becca's trying it. She said she's totally buying it. Thanks, Kiki. Yes. You're passing on the tip. Guys. Marisol saying coconut in coffee. Yes. Yes, Marisol. Carrie saying confession. I've never had curry, but it looks pretty oh. good. Carrie, I say if you've never had curry, a shrimp curry would be a great entry point. Yes. If you like shrimp, obviously. And you can control the spiciness. It doesn't have have to be super spicy. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't smell that spicy. All right, do you want to switch? I don't know what's with this burner, but you want to swap out. Let Let's swap this, out. Let me put this on this one. Turn it to high key, know. maybe. It is on high. I don't oh. know why. Maybe there's just something wrong with that burner. Okay, so the last thing we're going to add, and this is, again, not traditional, but the last thing we're going to add to our... Um, to our Vietnamese coffee is a little really bit really been going to town on that, haven't you? I use this a lot. Oh, here we go. See? Something's wrong with that burner. It just takes a little while for it to get going, but we are we are ready to roll. Okay, so yeah, we're going to add a little bit of my vanilla. Joining us. 
Oh. He's saying, am I too late for all the fun? I see, see Mac, if you come in, even w with one rema one minute remaining on this show, there's still plenty of time for fun. Dreaded locks when it's in that vanilla must be incredible. It is. Can, Can you, you tell? Can, let me smell this. I go through so much of it, I gotta get more beans. Oh, buddy. I know. That's with the rum that I gave you, that or that you just took. It is, and it's almost <laughs> over because I made, I keep making, I bake a lot with like banana, like for morning cookies and muffins and like. Great drink thing. That's a cool yeah. mocha pot. Love the look, and I just ordered it on, on Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that. That's yep. awesome. Did Fritz I say Frank. that? Right, got it from Amazon. That's too that? cute. Fritz Frank probably just went on a Google journey and he found it. Fritz Frank. He found it. Awesome. Now, what does that sound? It's That's it going. It's ready. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're Shows ready how go. often Kiki uses this thing. Look. I use one every single morning. It's ready. And see, it does not take long. Okay, here we go. Are, you, are we ready to see this beautiful Vietnamese coffee? Okay, Insta's not going to be able to see. Oops. Oh, uh-oh. But the YouTube crowd and TikTok is actually getting an upfront close um, oh. look at this. Look at how good that is going to be. We're going to need a little stir in there because you want that I think I put condensed too much of the, coconut milk. I think I put a little too much, but that's, we're going to That see. thing's going to eat like a meal. <laughs> Look it's going to drink like a meal. Yeah, but that's how Vietnamese coffee is. There's always... The, there's always it's, a, the, it's thicker. And it, you have to... That's what's acting as the cream in the coffee. So you have to add quite a bit to it. So just we're just going to stir this up. Hang on, um, you guys. I don't know you guys can't really see this, but I'll hold it up and show you in just a second. <laughs> Wendy! What? Wendy's like, I'm in case so and so without even trying. <laughs> okay. Guys, we just can't help it. This, this thing is awesome. Oh. It speaks for itself. Oh my good heavens, it smells so good. So Wendy's that's... saying that coffee looks good. She will be trying that. Yes! <laughs> You know what I'll be trying? Just spooning that stuff from the can. Okay, Matt, you want to get plating because we're almost out of time. The only thing I'm going to add is um, a little bit of coconut whipped cream. I don't know why this is ending up being a coconut show. Yes. But we're going to just continue on. Okay, buddy, buddy. Whoa, with whoa. The coconut. <laughs> Guys, it wouldn't be a live show without Kiki making an absolute disaster. Okay, it's, uh, I haven't got to see you guys at all today. Hey, everybody, check this out. Look at how good that looks. Buddy. <laughs> barbecue mama she's gonna be loving that barbecue mama i it, am it might not be as hot anymore because it might have cooled down because of that's the, all right the smoke, but please let me know what you think thank you you're not even going to try it no i know it's phenomenal i love vietnamese coffee oh, okay you, he's not okay, even this... giving that a taste test i thought for sure that i don't even know if all that would have been making it over to barbecue mama oh wow that is so good. Give it to me. Oh my God! It's coconutty. It's creamy. It's that coconut. It's caramelly. Mocha. Yeah. Well, it's we so... would also use coconut in everything possible in today's mm. today's show. But I don't know. It's this stuff is very strong in coconut. Very strong. Yes. Organic coconut puree. That's all it is. Because we yeah. have coconut in all its forms. <laughs> Wendy's definitely got to try making this. It's so good, Wendy. Wendy, you'd like it. Becca's here for it. She said Kiki looking amazing. Oh, I think she said Kiki looking amazing, as in oh. Kiki's appearance. Oh, thanks, Becca. Becca, you are such a sweetheart. That is very sweet of you to say Kiki that is, is looking amazing. Why because is we are on? ready to plate up here, okay? So we are, I'm, we're going with a base of basmati rice, okay? Use whatever rice you like, but basmati, I'm sorry, that's the best rice. And it looks beautiful. And I've, I've heard people say that, like, the longer the grain of rice, the, the like, the more, like, the better the lock or something like that. Look at that. That's pretty long. That is pretty long. I'm going to take that as lock, okay? I'm going to take it as lock. I think this is going to be a really, really great dish. Yeah, I can already I think tell. So too. I love the I love the consistency. I think the shrimp to other ingredient ratio is absolutely spot on. What a winner, honey! An absolute winner. And I'm gonna say, um, Key needs most of the props here, most of the credit, <laughs> which pains me to say this, guys. Like every week, because hey, <laughs> because the peppers diced up like that looks way better. It does, and I for, for me personally. Eating something like this, it's a much more enjoyable experience. Totally. You're getting little bits instead of large chunks. Now, guys, I'm just going to go in with the cilantro on the top. So anyone who doesn't like cilantro, avert your eyes. But mm -hmm. anyone who does, come on. Oh, okay? yeah. Come just, on. Just a little side note. Art Harris is saying that the company that makes that mocha pot is 100% owned by women. Oh. Cool, cool Art. Good Very info. Cool. Okay, so we're going to let this cool off for a second. We're almost out of time here, but I think it's time for a Flashback Friday photo. Okay, I need, to, I need to see this, but I also need to get a pour. Okay, let's take a look. Who do we have this week on Flashback Friday photo? 
And of course, there's a lot of embarrassing pictures of us. Scotty! Backyard barbecue as a young baby grill master. And doesn't he look adorable? Look at that hair. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> date unknown. I'm gonna guess that's like around 98. Oh, that's bad. Kiki doing her officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Good, but those are in. Those are in right now. Look at me and you and our cat. Oh, rest in peace, queen. And oh, oh, oh la la, oh. hot Tommy on the beach in Daytona. Hello, look at those curls. This is also giving off and a certain gentleman. And just look at everything else. Hi, hot Tommy. <laughs> Art Harris, Christmas edition. Oh, look at the shirt and the little white pants. Okay, look at the haircuts on these people. Okay, and the tent, <laughs> who's not here, but the tent on vacation, we don't have a year. The guy looks like he's been shy yeah. since, since nice. whatever year that was. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Guys, Way to go. that was a magical one. Send us your pics, guys, because we love to see these. Yes. All right, honey, give it a taste. Tell us what it tastes like, because I'm excited to know. All right, guys, check this out. We made this, I'm going to say super quick. Um... I'm going to say, I can't even joke about this. This is all because of Kiki. Yeah. Kiki Kiki really rocked and rolled on Thanks, this one, okay? At least I'm getting the attention that I deserve for this yeah. one. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this with this shrimp. It's going to be hot, but guys, this bite is for you guys. And if you are joining us on Maddie and Kiki After Dark, I can't wait to hang out with you guys there. Special Good Friday edition of After Dark. How's the seasoning? Did we add salt? Oh, no, we added salt. No. We added rub. Season yes. to perfection. Guys, try the co try all the coconut products. Very coconutty. Very, very coconutty this Friday. Not too strong on the curry flavor. Perfect amount of curry flavor. And I'm going to say I think we should have gone in with some of the seeds. It's not spicy at all. Good. Barbecue pops can't handle it. Can't add well, spice to your own Yeah, plate we'll pal. add some. Thank goodness we have some hot, uh, some hot sauce here because it's going to need it. But, guys, this plate is delectable. I really encourage you guys to make this if you love shrimp. Jan, you did miss it, but we're happy to hear, have you here right at the end. Hi, Janimal. All right, guys. So that concludes another week. I cannot believe that that was a lot. That, that was really that episode flew by. It always does. I it don't did. get it. it. It did. Um, but we will see you guys, Maddie and Kiki, after dark. For those of you that are joining us, Kathy, send it. Please send it. <laughs> A picture? Yes. Yes, please do. Kathy, short hair edition. Ooh. I can't wait to see it. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. You stuck through us, even with the with the horrible audio that we had today. We really appreciate you guys and love you guys. We do. Thank have you a guys. fantastic long weekend and stay safe and have fun, guys. Thanks, guys.